This is the spray produced by a typical airbrush. How the airbrush makes this possible is the subject of this short video. In mechanical design, an airbrush appears to be deceptively simple. However, as with many seemingly simple devices, there are a number of variations and nuances that have a significant effect on performance. An understanding of how an airbrush works and the effects of the design differences is extremely important in choosing the right air painting device for a specific task. Knowing how the airbrush works will also help in establishing a reliable painting process, as well as in troubleshooting the inevitable problems that occur when air painting. An airbrush or spray gun functions by the use of two principles of fluid dynamics, Bernoulli's principle and the Venturi effect. Bernoulli's principle explains the effects of a pressure differential that results when airflow passes through a constriction. In this example, the constriction represents the air cap of an airbrush and the fluid tube represents the paint passage. You can see that as the air passes through the constriction, the pressure is lowered which in turn allows the fluid level to rise. The Venturi effect describes the acceleration of fluid flow as it passes through a constriction. In this example, the constriction represents the fluid nozzle of an airbrush, and the Venturi effect explains why the material flow is accelerated as it passes through the nozzle and out of the orifice. This animation illustrates how both principles function together to make an airbrush work. Air flows into the air cap and is compressed as it flows through an orifice that surrounds the material nozzle. As the air exits the air cap, the airstream expands and creates an area of low pressure. This low pressure draws the material forward down the paint passage. The flow of the material is accelerated as it's forced through the narrow opening of the tapered nozzle. Because the airflow is coaxial with the needle, the material follows the surface of the tapered needle. As the material leaves the tip of the needle, it becomes atomized into the airstream. The size and shape of the needle nozzle and air cap, as well as the geometry of how these components relate to each other, is extremely significant to the performance and material handling capabilities of each individual air painting device. I'll explore this further with an additional video about what air painting tools you might want to consider for building scale models.